Hi, I'm Megan Fox, and I'm here with Who What Wear, and I'm about to take a little trip down fashion memory lane. This is Would You Wear It Now? I knew this was coming. Um, this was pre stylist era. This was the premiere for Confessions of a Teenage Drama Queen with me and Lindsay Lohan. This was also pre pre eyebrows, pre a lot of things. It's terrible. The proportions are awful. I'm short, that makes me look shorter. That necklace is hideous. I, mean, I did my own makeup. Someone else did my hair. It was all bad. This could probably be saved with a stylist and proper hair and makeup, but the way I did this was not was not a good look. This was Teen Choice Awards. I did have a stylist for this, and I don't remember what the brands are, but I do remember, this is like right as I was becoming famous for the first time, this was press for the first Transformers. I remember that I presented an award with The Rock. I remember that had a weird conversation with Zac Efron in the audience. I don't mind this. I wouldn't necessarily wear it again. Look at those shoes. Remember like the wedge peep toe shoe? I don't look bad there. I just wouldn't wear it again. It would look all right. Pre-stylist, I don't know. I got invited to some weird like LA fashion show and I didn't care. This was in the era of me not giving a single fuck. I was famous and like not happy about it. And I don't know what I put on. What is this? This is such a weird like mom at brunch at the Barney's restaurant. Like Barney's upstairs, like the, the department store, but someone who like doesn't know how to dress, but she's, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? I was battling my own demons psychologically. I wasn't really worried about fashion at the moment. I'm sure all these things like individually were probably nice brands. I just put them together in the weirdest way. Me doing my own hair and makeup there. I've gotten so much better at that. Thank God I was like 19. Couldn't pull that off now. You guys pulled all the worst shit. Like I knew you were gonna do this. Okay, so this was for the Juno premiere which was written by Diablo Cody. I was going to meet Diablo because we were in the process of talking about Jennifer's body and to see if I was right for it and like how we vibed with each other. And it was a big deal. So everyone wanted me to look a certain way. Everyone wanted me to look like a movie star so that like I could land this role. And I had a real problem with authority when I was young and I resent people trying to tell me how to look or act or speak or any of those things. I'm much better about it now, but at this point, um, anything, you, if you tried to push me in a certain direction, I would go the opposite way. So while I was probably supposed to show up in like some beautiful kind of dress or fully coordinated outfit, instead I showed up in an old vintage Motley Crue t-shirt and some weird ass belt from Kitson. Correct me, Tommy, if I'm wrong, but I feel like I wore this t-shirt and then like, Someone extended an invitation from Tommy Lee for him to teach me drums. You know what I'm saying? Correct me if I'm wrong, but that's, that's how I remember it. Those are Louboutin shoes. I mean, it's not the worst. Look how low rise those pants were. Could never pull that off again. That was crazy. The zipper's one inch long. <laughs> This is, this is nothing to do with my personal style. This was a still from Jennifer's body. I will tell you that when I was fitting for this movie, like my specific calls were, I wanted to wear her laces on the outside of her pants. Um, I don't know if you can see my nails, but I had my nails painted. They were all pink except for the middle finger was black. And then um, I wanted her to wear like children's clothing. That was something that I did want. I was like, I want hoodies and shirts that are like child size, like from the girls department at Gap or wherever. I don't know where this hoodie came from, but I do think it was a children's, like a size 10. And that was important to me for some reason, just because it fit like, it fit the narrative of that story of how girls are treated and women are raised and the cannibalistic like nature in which we're, we grow up in. I'm really surprised at like the cult following. I don't even know if it's cult anymore. It's grown so, so much. 
it keeps having like a new resurgence and a new rebirth. Like teenage girls now are just discovering it and are in love with it. It's more relevant now, I think, than it was then when it first came out. It was so far ahead of its time. Um, it's my favorite project I've ever worked on, obviously. Um, it was genius on Diablo's part and Karin's part, the director. It was an amazing, it was an all female lead, female directed, female written. It's way ahead of its time. This is Golden Globes 2009. I think I'm wearing Ralph Lauren. I hate wearing my hair back like this. I cannot believe I allowed this like to, to happen because I have a huge round forehead, so I hate wearing my hair slicked back like that. Some stories, I was sat at a table. <laughs> I was sat at a table with Blake Lively and all three Jonas Brothers. At the Golden Globes, they always put those giant bottles of like Millet champagne on the table. I went through multiple glasses of that. Now I don't drink and this is why. I was belligerent and said a bunch of shit I shouldn't have said on the red carpet after that. But I'm sure, I, I think I got in a lot of trouble for whatever I said on the red carpet at this event. I don't remember why, but I know that I did. You can look that up. This was Roberto Cavalli at the Transformers 2 premiere in Russia, I think. I think this was the Moscow premiere. This was one of my favorite looks. I love this dress. This was considered like showing a lot of skin at the time on a red carpet for someone who was promoting a movie because the side slit was so high and um, it was before fashion progressed to what it is now. I remember getting out of the car and the paparazzi there wanting a ton of pictures and like I didn't have time to stop and then I remember them yelling at me that I wasn't actually even that famous. <laughs> I use this for inspo a lot like even now I reference this dress a lot. This was a, one of my favorite looks. And the hair and makeup was good. It made me look tall. I'm five foot four, so I'm actually really small. It was flattering, it was a good fit. This is more recent, very recent. This is me awoken to the fact that like I care what I look like now. This was is with Maeve. I believe, this is Versace. Louboutin boots. I don't know, I love this look. It's really fresh. It's not something, I haven't worn something like this before. It's not something I would pull off of a hanger and be like, this will look good on me, but I put it on and it worked for whatever reason. It was just young and different and I hadn't really seen it before on anyone just in, in a street. I'm maybe I don't know anything about anyone else, but I just hadn't seen this before. So for me, this was a new um, feel. And this is one of my favorite looks. Actors usually have more boring outfits for red carpets and events. I don't know why that is, but their style is usually more conservative. And I like Maeve because she's not that way. She's more, she's more forward thinking in the pieces that she chooses. And I just like the way she combines things. She has a really good eye. And I like the fact that she's not afraid. She's not trying to, to hide me. People were always trying to hide me and make me less sexy so that I could be taken more seriously. And I was like, I don't give a fuck about that. Like, I just want the look to be right. This was recently, I went to dinner for my birthday before I went to Costa Rica. I'm not sure who makes the suit. I'm pretty sure it was like the, the blazer was satin. This was a good look. And then I unbuttoned it on the way back and it was wild. A lot of boobs happening in this outfit. He had this new tattoo on his neck, the red line, and I had a black French tip and I put the red line in the center of my nails. Usually I build my outfit around whatever he's choosing because he's way more into fashion than I am and, and his closet is wild and it's probably easier for me to build around him, but this, this was, I wanted to wear this red suit this night, so he built his outfit around me. He has like vintage, I think they're vintage Gucci boots on, the red laces. This is my favorite look of all the looks I was shown. This is the Versace look with the Louboutin crocodile boot. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy all those hideous photos of me in the terrible clothes that I wish didn't exist on the internet, but you guys chose to pull all of them and make me talk about them on camera. Bye.